your first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Great looking start to the day. We're enjoying some blue sky overhead, some sunshine, but we also have some thick fog at ground level. So a couple of things to think about this morning. Fog to start the day for a couple of hours and then a day of beautiful, mild sunshine for really the majority of the day. That's the view from near Grand Meadow. Uh, here in Rochester, not as much of the fog evident, but you see some of that surrounding Austin and uh, to go with that bright sunshine and just a little bit of the hazy fog in the treetops uh, from some of our Lewis did auto cameras uh, looking around the area. Rochester visibility has dramatically improved in the past half hour up to 10 miles but Winona has seen the fog really thicken less than a quarter of a mile there and Charles City Iowa also an area where the fog is particularly dense we have a dense fog advisory for southeast Minnesota most of uh, North Iowa that runs until 8 o'clock this morning more of that fog as we saw in our uh, Grand Meadow camera. A little bit of that uh, evident also in the distance looking southward on Broadway. Uh, some of that fog outside. 39 degrees of temperature, a crisp, chilly morning. It's definitely jacket weather this morning at the bus stop, to say the least. Uh, 43 in Austin, Mesa City 36. We did pick up 1.38 inches of rain yesterday. All that rain, all that extra moisture in the atmosphere with just a hint of a breeze now, uh, allowing for that fog to develop this morning. That much wind to mix out that moisture. 39 right now, it feels like 33, just a light Light south breeze. The winds will be fairly light throughout the day. We're going to enjoy a day of sunshine and uh, the temperatures looking to be uh, well above the seasonal average. A quick warm up is in store. We only managed the 50s for yesterday's temperatures. Today will be close to 70. High pressure working its way across the map, bringing a sun filled day. There's the next storm system to impact the area, at least the cold front that is going to deliver a chance of showers and eventually a cool down for Saturday. Uh, we're looking at the rainfall, we had 1.38 inches of rain yesterday. That is actually now the total for the month, and we have a surplus for the year of 9 tenths of an inch, the biggest surplus we've had in more than a year in the way of rainfall. 40 degrees with some fog and some sunshine for the morning commute. From here, we'll make our way into the 70 degree range. Showers tomorrow morning. Otherwise, the weekend looks pretty good. Uh, Sunday looks terrific. Uh, a little bit of rain next week, but otherwise, we'll have some sun and very typical early May temperatures, 70s and even some 60s uh, throughout the next week. Future track today, a lot of sunshine. Of course, the fog lifting after about 8 o'clock. few high clouds come in later this evening and tonight and eventually tomorrow, just before the first light of day, we begin to see some showers. Those impact the area from around uh, 5 o'clock in the morning until about 11. Showers move out. We'll have clouds holding on into the early afternoon. Then we'll have some late day sunshine, a cool breeze. Temperatures tomorrow in the upper 50s and Sunday. Less wind, more sun and a terrific looking Sunday with temperatures temperatures in the upper 60s. Morning showers on uh, Saturday, another chance on Tuesday, small chances next Wednesday and Thursday. So there are some rain chances here and there, but some sun and some mild weather to go with that. 60s and low 70s for most of the next week. Fog this morning, Otherwise, mostly sunny today. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, a high of 69. 47 tonight, showers well after midnight, increasing clouds. And the seven-day forecast, a brief shower tomorrow morning. Then some sunshine, and we'll have 60s and low 70s next week. What a bright, beautiful day ahead. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Great looking Friday. Perfect timing. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking forward to maybe grilling out or oh, having yeah. a fire tonight.